Hello everyone. Now we're going to start with the measure phase of the Six Sigma. And in the measure phase of the Six Sigma, we are going to talk about various topics which are very, very relevant for the process project success and the project journey, to which we'll be talking about in detail. Okay. So there is there is an agenda for measure phase of the Six Sigma. We're going to talk about what is the introduction to the measure phase or what is the measure phase of Six Sigma typically all about uh, then there are certain things that we which we need to keep in mind in the measure phase of six sigma like what to measure how to measure then we have how to ensure what we have measured is correct or not then we have what is data collection plan um, then we have types of data uh, then what is sampling we're going to talk about and we have different types of sampling techniques that are applicable in any six sigma project uh, then we'll talk about what is the measurement system analysis all about, which is also known as MSA. Uh, we'll talk about repeatability and reproducibility. Then we'll talk about process capability, which is DPMO, DPO, and Six Sigma value, where we'll do certain practice also. And then we'll talk about quick wins as well. Okay, so let's start with the measure phase of the Six Sigma. Before I give you the introduction of the Six Sigma, I just want to take you through to what Mr. Lord Kelvin says. Mr. Lord Kelvin is a Scottish mathematician and physicist who contributed to many branches of it. What he, what he said, when you can measure what you are speaking about and express it in numbers, you know something about it. But when you cannot express it in numbers, your knowledge is of an unsatisfactory, which in a nutshell says that if you when you can't measure what you want to improve, you will never be able to improve in it. And that's what typically measure phase of Six Sigma talks about. Measure phase of Six Sigma is basically talking about certain things which we, which is listed below. There are three basic questions which we try and answer measure phase what to measure, how to measure, and how to ensure what we are measuring is correct or not. Okay, because in the measure phase, we really want to measure that how big the problem is. What are the data that we need to collect for the same? How we are going to collect that data? And the third question, which is how to ensure what you have measured is correct or not, to ensure whatever data we have, whether that data is good to go or not to ensure it does not have any measurement error in it. Okay, moving on. First two questions, which is what to measure and how to measure are answered by DCP, which is known as data collection plan. And the last question is being answered by MSA, which is called as measurement system. So we will first of all learn that what is the data collection plan in the measure phase of Six Sigma. Measure phase of Six Sigma is very, very important to capture the correct operational definition of a project Y. Okay. Operational definition, it's a precise definition of each and every parameter against which performance will be judged. It helps removes ambiguity so that everyone has the same understanding. Okay. Then we'll talk about the second part of the data collection plan, which is defining the performance standard. A performance standard, as we already talked about, is a requirement or specification which is imposed by the customer. Specification limits are defined by the customer. It helps in differentiating between customer satisfaction and customer disappointment. Then the third part of data collection plan is called as defect definition. The defect de definition in DCP is more like a statement of the defect in the project. It helps us in identifying the situation in which the parameter will be considered as a defect. So in the performance standard, you can see here, okay, so we will, uh, the lower specification limit and the upper specification. This is a customer requirement, okay. This is the mean where the central value lies. And in this particular case, this is the performance. So, the performance is 
within the customer specification you see that it is not beyond the lower specification or beyond the upper specification limit this is a good product or a feature by design uh, which will meet customer demands and expectations There are other items on the declaration plan, which is like data type, which is continuous data or discrete data. We will discuss what is continuous data and what is discrete data. What is the formula which is being used to calculate the operational definition? Okay. Unit in which data needs to be collected, the unit of measurement, like, like meters, centimeters, days, hours, rupees, dollar, G GBP, etc., etc. Equipment to be used for collection, data collection. Which which equipment, which tool that we are using for? It. Whether to use historical data or collect new data. The date for which data needs to be collected. Okay. Who will be responsible for collection of data? These all are parts of data collection plan. And if there are any training required for the data collection. 